I sat down to do this video today. I fully intended on bringing you just five of the top mascaras of all time at the drugstore. That means that since I've been wearing mascara, which is a lot of years, and so I wanted to bring you those, but then I found another one when I walked into my studio to be able to bring to you guys. So that's why the little plus one out there on the thumbnails. So we're gonna do that right now. Don't forget that I have a numbering system where I'm gonna number these mascaras one through six and you can look down in the description box to find the link if you want to shop that way along with what i'm wearing my other makeup and everything but let's get into this yummy good mascara right now all at affordable prices at the drugstore i'm going to go from the number six all the way up into the number one let's start out with this one from elf that i was shocked did not go better in a re as a release than it did because i love this mascara this is the elf lash it loud it is a really, really nice mascara. It's got a silicone brush head to it, kind of the little Christmas tree type thing or pine tree, whatever you want to call it right there. I loved this for all of the boxes, the volume, the length, and the thickening. I really like this a lot. I don't feel like it flaked. I don't feel like it smudged during the day. Now, you know, if, my, if I cried or anything like that, it's gonna come off. That's what washable mascaras are all about. They come off with soap and water and our tears are a little bit more than water. But I loved the way that this built up the length of my lashes. Now I have pretty good lashes as far as length. I don't have great lashes as far as volume, but that's okay because as long as I catch every single one, then I can go ahead and you know make any, just about any mascara work, but it's gotta have the factors there that help you catch every single lash and this one from elf did so this one is in our number six spot today number five is from essence and this is the lash princess but this isn't the regular green tube that is the volume one this is the waterproof formula the curl the volume and the length in one they have all, all different colors in the same bottle none of those worked because they either flaked they smudged they didn't last i couldn't get anything as far as volume and length out of them but this one does and I really like this now this is more of the natural bristle brush or an actual brush not the plastic or silicone one again it's just the regular you know pine tree or whatever you want to call it there as far as the wand goes this one is beautiful in the way that it builds up my only concern that I have about this mascara is that because it is a waterproof formula it might dry out on you a little bit too soon now the way that you can very easily take care of that is just take some saline solution put five drops down in there and then mix it up by the way never pump your wand on your mascaras you always want to stir your wand in there because otherwise you're pumping air in there I'm sure you've all heard that a million times but I say that in every mascara video that I do this mascara because it is the waterproof formula you might think that you would shy away from it because isn't waterproof just a bugger to get off if you use just a balm a cleansing balm or cleansing oil to get this mascara off you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever I love this because it does last longer than most of the other ones the other mascaras that I do use I find that as I'm taking it off it doesn't tug on my lashes and it delivers all the boxes again length volume holds a curl and yeah it's there all day long no flaking all that good stuff so definitely like that one in at number four is the brand new l'oreal telescopic lift mascara this one created a sensation because we all know you know they had that whole michaela gate i don't know if any of you have had seen that over on tiktok i know a lot of you don't watch tiktok but anyway this still, even though all of that happened, is still a fantastic mascara. This is has a wand that is very, very different. Again, it's the silicone brush wand, not the regular brushes, but it has different lengths. Even on one side, it doesn't even have any sort of bristles or little grabber barbs. <laughs> I can't think of any other way to say it, but it does have different lengths on it for its brush. And that's really helpful because when you're down here, you can go ahead and use, you know, a, a shorter one so you don't make a mess. When you're up here trying to build some length, you can very easily tip the lashes that you have on, which is a great thing as well. I love that about it. And the washable formula, I will say that after about 
10 hours, 10 hours is a long time to wear a mascara. Keep that in mind. It, it will start to flake a bit, but it, it doesn't bother me. Usually I, you know, unless it's a really yucky day where I have allergies or something, this is on until I take it off. And again, I always buy two tubes. I buy the waterproof version and the regular version. And then I just tip the lashes with the waterproof version at the very end. And it still comes off really well. So again, boxes of volume and lengthening and everything else that I've listed before, this definitely checks them off. Number three is also from Maybelline. This is the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is a mascara that they even darkened it even more than their blackest black, and that's why the handle of it looks black instead of the regular purple that you've seen on there so many times. Now this mascara is a natural bristle brush. This is a really great hourglass wand. I also love that since it's a natural bristle brush, I get a ton of volume out of that. I have loved this for what, how long has this been out? Six years, seven years, something like that. I've loved this ever since it came out. This is one that I know I can trust and put on and it's just done. It's just easy, so pretty. As a matter of fact, the number one spot that I'm gonna show you in a minute is almost identical to this, but this one completely ticks the boxes. I said in my last video about lipsticks that I felt like lipsticks is where you can save a little bit of money. I feel the same way about mascaras because number one, we're supposed to throw them away after three months. And I do try to, you know, kind of stick to that rule. I never go more than six months with a mascara because honestly, they do go bad very quickly because of the action of pulling that in and out and it being a thicker formula to begin with. Definitely, if you haven't tried this one, it's gonna lift those lashes. I actually get such a nice, pretty lift out of this that holds there all day long. And I know so many of you talk about the fact that you have a hard time with your lashes kind of bending down. If you haven't checked out the Refer Eyelash Curler, I am a Refer girl for life with that eyelash curler. He's designed this so that it has a specific curve on it. I'll make sure I link that down below for you too. So, love Falsies Lash Lift, one of my favorites. Number two, this was so hard to go between number two and number one. But number two, I actually don't have with me today because I've used it all up and now I'm trying to work on some other mascaras, but I do have the primer from them and this is Maybelline Sky High, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Oh, when I got this the first time, not the primer, but the actual mascara. When I got this the first time, I was absolutely blown away at how long and thick and just gorgeous my lashes looked and this wand it is a silicone wand and it just picked up every single little lash and i was able to do my bottom lashes so beautiful you know what's beautiful about this primer it's black it's not white like somebody else's i do love this primer as well but the mascara is phenomenal and that mascara even though it is washable that mascara will not flake on you it will not smudge on you so that's always fun to have one that performs so nicely and at the end of the day you can take it off with that cleansing balm or whatever you have to take off your eye makeup and you know that it's still there because that rag is black so <laughs> i really love love the sky high from maybelline all right, number one, drum roll, da da da, da is L'Oreal's Lash Paradise. Hear me out. How long has this thing been out? It came out probably the year after Too Faced came out. The wand is a little bit thicker than the falsies, and it doesn't really have as much of a curve in it. It's a natural bristle brush. I had forgotten how much I loved this mascara when I got it back out. I was just over the moon in love with it. I remember thinking they did it. They finally did it. They got a mascara that's gonna stay on my eyes. It's gonna give me all the good feels. It's lengthening, volumizing. It's gonna not smudge, not flake. They finally did it. And the fact that I can pick out one that I know for a fact, every single time I pick this up, it's gonna outperform anything else that I've ever used. That's saying a lot. I love L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I forgot how much I loved it because I hadn't used it in about four years. And when I picked it up, I felt the same exact good feels that I felt the day that I bought my very first tube of it. So if you haven't tried this, you're out there trying all the other ones that all the other influencers are talking about, that's the latest and greatest. You might wanna revisit this one because gals, 
It's that good. I love it. Now, I know that you're not going to agree with all of these, but I know that some of you are going to love one of these at least. Tell me in the comment section what your favorite mascara is so that I can tell you whether or not I've tried it or if I need to go try it and see if it will be my favorite mascara as well. And I don't care whether it's drugstore or cost $30 or two. That's a lot for a mascara, but you know what I mean. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm so happy that you spent some time with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to just tap that like button as well. I hope that you're happy and healthy and taking care of yourselves. I love you very much and come back real soon. Bye my friends.